Hello boaters, welcome to Narrowboat Journeys. We're at Marple Junction where the Macclesfield Canal joins onto the Upper Peak Forest Canal. And in this video, while I'm not cruising, I should be walking down the Marple Lock Flight. So let's have a look at the map. We're at the yellow marker at the bottom of the map and we're walking down past all 16 locks and then we'll be going across the Marple Aqueduct where I reach the end of my trip, turn around and walk back again. I've never actually boated through the Marple Lock flight before. Those 16 locks put me off quite a lot. And also, when you're down the bottom, you're starting to head into some heavily urban areas, like, and then on into Manchester. So this was an interesting little walk for me as well. Over on the other side of this bridge we have the Macclesfield Canal and it's quite busy around here at the moment because they're doing a lot of dredging on the Upper Peak Forest Canal and they're bringing all the dredged material back to where the water point is um, so they can cart it all away. So here's a close-up of Marple Junction. And off we go. This is the top lock, lock number 16. Now the flight of locks, all 16 of them, they drop or rise, depending on which way you're going, uh, 214 feet, which is uh, quite substantial. All of these locks are pretty deep. There's no mooring allowed in between the locks. And I've noticed as I walk down that they are particularly badly designed for solo boaters. There's very few places where you can tie the boat up you're gonna it would be very very difficult to do this on your own as you can see from my shadow in the bottom right of the picture there I'm hand holding not the GoPro but a Campark V30 action camera the video quality is not quite as good as the GoPro but the stabilization as you can see is very good and so I can do more walking videos now and you won't get seasick watching them hopefully Unfortunately, the sound from this little camera is pretty awful. So in my other hand, I'm holding my sound recorder. So I'm recording a separate audio track, which is much better. As you can see, all of the locks are very close together. I'm wearing Wellington boots, of course, because the towpath here is pretty good and nicely tarmacked, but a bit further down, it is very muddy. It's a nice day today. It's a Monday afternoon. Lockdown is still in force, but everyone comes out onto the towpath for exercise, so socially distancing is virtually impossible.
the towpath goes through a little tunnel which goes under the road. They used to take the horses down through here. It's quite small and quite tight. That infernal racket you can hear is someone trimming a hedge up by the next lock. Glad to get away from that. Lock 10 is empty, so let's have a closer look. This is an old canal warehouse which has been converted into offices, I believe. Lock 9 is by a very busy road. When we come out of the lock, down below it goes underneath the road and out the other side. This is another one which will be particularly difficult to do on your own.
after lock 8 we get away from the urban areas and we get away from the busy roads um, the towpath is actually pretty busy down here though but quite pretty I imagine this is really nice in the summer There's not a lot to say in terms of commentary along here, it's just one lock after another, all heading downhill. I thought it was very busy down here for a, a Monday afternoon on a winter's day. Can you imagine what it would be like on a lovely day in the summer? It would be very, very busy. I notice that to the right of lock 5 there's a railway line. The trains go through a tunnel which goes right underneath the canal and it doesn't seem to be all that deep.
And here we are at last, lock one, or the first or the last lock in the flight. And no eggs for sale today, it seems. They look a bit expensive, to be honest. £1.50 for half a dozen. That seems quite a bit. I can hear a train, but I can't see it. I think there's another railway line a bit farther down. So that's the Marple Lock flight. Now, on to the aqueduct. There's the railway bridge. I knew there had to be one down here somewhere. And the towpath changes sides, and on we go. This is where it gets a bit wet and muddy down here. Lots of puddles. To the left of us here is a small industrial estate. And this bridge leads across the canal, of course, and then on to a large viaduct. And here just ahead is the Marple Aqueduct. It's very impressive and the viaduct and the aqueduct they both cross a, a deep valley which the River Goit flows through. I can hear another train somewhere. Uh, there it is. You might want to pause the video here. You can probably read that if you've got a large screen. Let's try Google Earth view of this area. I'm standing about where the red arrow is pointing and you can clearly see the aqueduct and the viaduct in the shot. And there's the River Goit running through the valley. 
quite a pretty place really. we get a better view of the aqueduct from the other side. And this marks the end of my walk. Whatever's up this way, will forever remain a mystery to me I expect. And now all that remains to be done is to walk back again. I'm only going to show you a few of the highlights of the return journey because otherwise that would be too tedious. So here we go. Notice how a lot of towpath walkers wear the wrong type of footwear when they come out to places like this. Can you see the moon there, just above the edge of the bridge? And here we are, back at lock one again. Look at that dirty dog having a poo.
There's a nice bit of boat handling here, although I'm sure he was on the radio to his friend around the corner so he could tell that there was no other boats coming. The excavator there has pushed the other butty out away from the bank and this guy is steering the full one in between the butty and the uh, canal side there. Quite nicely done, they've obviously done this before. Unfortunately, this area is also the boater's facilities and water points, so if you were planning to come here to get water, this is probably a very bad time to turn up here because you won't get in. Anyway, this marks the end of my walk. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. I shall see you next time.